Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. We have another D-Stash Diaries for you and I have two drawers that are gonna be really tough. So this is the O through P drawer because we're going backwards through the alphabet. And then the other drawer, because I'm doing them two at a time for these videos, is completely filled with Orly. And I love Orly, so I can't imagine there's gonna be a lot going from that drawer. And then this drawer has a lot of my indies that I really like, so we'll see how it goes. I find destashing indies much harder than destashing mainstream polishes because for in my head I'm like I can just go find another mainstream really easily but with indies there's like a special element to it you know it's like like these are made by a person that I can easily reach out to and talk to on Instagram or something like that and so I feel a little bit more like connected to an indie polish versus like a mainstream polish but I also feel very connected to my Orly's because I'm on their PR list and like for me that's like such a ego boost not gonna lie so like I do feel very connected to those as well so that's kind of what's gonna make these drawers tough so before we get into the actual like de-stashing let me just explain everything again up top if this is your first time or you need a refresher so i have never in my life de-stashed my polishes before i never thought i would be in a position where i would want to i just feel like right now in my life i want to have things that i know i really like and really enjoy and i'm going to use and some of my polishes i hung on to just because i liked them at one time and or i just bought them in like huge bulk lots and there's really no point in hanging on to stuff that I'm not going to use or think about even because there's like some collections where it's like you don't use the items like I have a collection of this silver jewelry that I don't wear my dad buys it for me and it's like really sweet whenever he sees it in an antique store um he buys me pieces of this jewelry and I I display it I don't wear it but that still gets use in my opinion because it's like something that I look at. It's like a d decoration in my cabinet. You know, I don't know. But some of the, like my, my nail polish is not decor. And so it's like if I'm not using it for something, there's really no point. So how this works is I'm going to go through polish by polish, decide if I'm going to keep it or if it's going to go into the purgatory box. I have a couple swatch wheels here so that I can swatch stuff out if I'm not really sure. And I also want to say up top, I don't know what I'm doing with my de-stashed polishes yet. Some of those are going to come back into my collection, I'm sure, because I'm going to do a final run through with you guys of everything in that purgatory box. I just need some time to think on it. Um, so some of those might come back. Some of them I might sell. Some of them I might give away to family and friends, but I'm not sure yet. So don't DM me asking to buy anything you see going in there. I have had a few people DM me asking me to sell stuff to them. And I, like I said, like I just kind of ignored them. But like, like I've said in the past few videos, everything goes in the purgatory box and then it's going to get one more pass through. So that's just how I do things with anything I'm destashing. All that said, let's hop into the actual destash. So my drawers look a mess because... Because I know I've been destashing, I just throw stuff in the corresponding drawer right now and I'm going to reorganize when I get a chance. So first we have one of the Orly Lisa Frank polishes. I think this one was from like the second iteration. I think both of these were actually. So this one is Your Lucky Stars and you can see it's like a neon and hollow star topper. And then this one is Heart to Heart and it has just hollow hearts and then like some pink and blue hex glitters. I am not going to get rid of any of the Orly Lisa Frank collab stuff. I really like them. Um, so these are going to stay. I don't, I wish that they had like not plastic cat on the caps. I, I'm always afraid I'm going to rip them. I also have these two toppers from some of the Orly Lisa Frank. So we have hit the spot and then this one is dot, dot, dot. So kind of similar this one's like tiny hex glitters, neons, and then this is like large circle glitters with some hollow running through it as well, uh, keeping those. We have another Orly topper. This one is Turn It Up, and I'm going to keep this. This one has like a corresponding black and white and gray topper called Turn It Down, and I thought that was really funny when they released that. So this one can stay. This is called Ephemeral. It looks like it has like a green 
kind of flash running through it. This is best probably worn over a dark color. I would not wear it. I, I just know, like I, I'm just not into this type of polish because of the white base. So this one I actually will de-stash or put in the purgatory bin. This one is called Cessine Pa and this is like kind of like an off-white or like sort of grayish white. I typically don't like white, but I like this as a background for nail art that isn't so stark white. So this is actually a good one to have on hand when I do nail art once a year. This is an Orly breathable. I don't separate my breathables from like my regular Orly's, as you can see. I just treat them all as the same formula. Uh, this one is called Power Packed, and it's, again, it's kind of like a light gray, but it's a little bit... I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little bit different than Cessine Pa. This one looks a little bit more dingy, and then this one is a little bit more gray. So I like them both. So keeping those. And then let's see, we have a couple of different Orlies here. This one is Kaleidoscope Eyes, and this one is Taffy to Be Here. I recently pulled these out to do a comparison for a video just with Orly. And so it seems like this is kind of a popular colorway that Orly releases. Some of these I just, I feel like I need to hang on to because I'm on their PR list. I need to hang on to them for like comparison purposes for my reviews. So I will keep both of these, even though I honestly don't really wear that color that often. And let's see what's next. We've got some pinnacle polish in here. Okay. This one I got they were selling overpours of this at uh, Polish and Beauty Expo, and I was devastated that I ended up not picking this up in the Polish pickup. It's called Be a Sila Can. I was obsessed with coelacanths from, like, sixth grade onward because um, I remembered them. They were in Animal Crossing, and I was like, wow, it's like a really rare fish to get. And then, and I got Animal Crossing when I was in sixth grade. And then in seventh grade, there was a section of my science textbook that was all about coelacanths. So I just, somehow I made coelacanths my entire personality for like a month. So I will be keeping that. I also picked up this Pinnacle Polish Trio at the same time. These are like, I, I think it was like Great Lakes Fish or something. We have Yellow Perch, Chinook Salmon, and Rainbow Trout. And one of these is magnetic. One of the green ones. I forgot which one. It's marked in my spreadsheet. But these, I did do a little, I'm pretty sure I did a review on these. And that's on my channel if you want to see it. I think this is the magnetic one, yellow perch. But these definitely look like fish and like the fish that they are uh, referencing. And my dad loves to fish. So that was why I got these. And I literally, like the maker, I was like buying these. I was like, yeah, my dad loves fish. And it's like, I couldn't just shut my stupid mouth for like five seconds. I don't know. I like telling people about my dad. He's really cool. So if they don't want to hear my cool dad stories, then I don't need him in my life. So but she, she was not... I need to say the maker wasn't acting like I was being weird. I was just like, I feel like I'm coming off as too strong of a weirdo right now. But yeah, keeping those. This is called Thompsonite. This came in, this is like a Polish Beauty Expo 2023 exclusive. This came in the uh, bag, I believe, that I got. Um, I need to swatch it just to really confirm. I don't like it there's something about like this base color with those colors of glitter it just reminds me of like a really ugly christmas color so i'm actually going to pass that one on to the purgatory box um i don't know it's just not my vibe like the glitters like look at those those look like christmas glitters but in this like weird fleshy pink okay i think that's all the pinnacle polish i like to do it like a brand at a time if i can um i guess Let's do Plus Life Lacquer. And this is, oh my God, <coughs> um, unopenable. So this is a mystery polish that I got when I placed an order. It's white. It looks like it probably has like iridescent flakies designed to kind of go over a color. Um, I, you know, I just, I don't know why I feel I need to open this, but it's, not my style it does it looks like the snow that my grandma used to use in her uh christmas village that she had that's kind of fun but i will put that in the the stash box this one's called mountain dew uh i bought that because i love mountain dew and anytime i tell people i love mountain dew they're like you're disgusting but i'm sorry it's just delicious um but like ever since i kind of stopped drinking so much soda oh look at that color 
Uh, if I drink a Mountain Dew, I become uh, very sick. It's just so sugary. So we're going to hang on to that one. I just wanted to swatch it because look at how pretty it is. Um, this is another one that I picked up. This is DLT Baby Doritos Locos Tacos for those who are not aware. Uh, I haven't worn this yet, but I really want to. It's got metallic green flakes, orange, yeah, metallic orange flakes, and I almost said orange green flakes, and then like these red metallic glitters and some black specks in there. Very fun. Plus Life Lacquer does a lot of really interesting collections. This is Glowing Fungus. It glows in the dark, and it's a fun green, so you know I gotta keep that. This is Mush Mom, and this is just, it's I am always saying I don't have enough interesting oranges and interesting yellows. And this kind of like knocked both of my needs out of the park. So I have to keep that. These plus lives are fairly new to me too. This is Shrumener. And this is another, I think, probably in the same uh, collection. And it's like blue with these purple glitters. And it's got reflective in there. They put these stickers on to indicate like reflective or glow in the dark so that's really helpful this one was a mystery oops and this is like it looks like it could be a topper but it also has a really like light sheer gray base i think um it's really cute i feel like i have black and white speckled toppers though so i could probably pass that one too and then, of course, I have, this is Candy Cane Cutie. I wore this one fairly recently. It's super cute, so I'm keeping that. Oh, and then this one, I as when this first came out, this is what really made me want to try the brand. This is Toget About It, and it's supposed to look like Togepi from Pokemon. When I was a kid, I remember when the movie released, and they, like hard launched Togepi, and I was, like, losing my mind. I loved Pokemon as a kid, and I loved Togepi. I love his little shell. He's so cute. Um, yeah, so keeping that. This, it looks like it could be like a, like, 4th of July polish. I'm not a big, like, patriotic person, but I, I guess I could wear this on the 4th of July. Um, what's next? Let's do polish next. Okay, so I have, that's polish for days. They use, like, the same bottles. So, okay, maybe we, we don't hold them all at once. Okay, goblin mode keeping this polish i don't know like the name just speaks to me because i just feel like i'm always going goblin mode so i gotta keep that this is good for you i got this from polish pickup in december and this i like immediately put it on it's such a pretty polish so keeping that what is this one this is notorious rbg from polish con new york city this one i think i think it is amanda sent me this one maybe i don't know let me let me swatch it and see. See, I like black flakes and stuff, but these ones are like kind of more grayish. Ooh, it smells weird. Oh, they're like metallic flakes. Oh yeah, you can tell. Okay, I was like, can you even tell? They're metallic flakes in there. That's kind of cool. All right, I... I'm dropping everything. Okay, let's keep that one for now. This one is called Salvador Dali, and I had to have this. Like, It's like, they're purple separate really weird it's almost like cracked in there it looks like but no this is a must have and then i also picked up sen nudis from polish pickup rebound or rebound rewind um as you can tell i really like these like sh shimmery super ethereal finishes keeping both uh this one is called witch and famous uh i just i love purple so much like you're gonna be hard pressed to see me get rid of many purples okay this one vecna's curse this is the first time i ever bought a polish and when i got it in the mail i was like that looks nothing like what i expected i the first like couple photos on the website made this look way more red than it was in the bottle here. And so I'm not like thrilled about it. So I feel like I would like this color otherwise. I think I just need to wear it once and just get over the fact that it's not the color that it looked like in the picture. And that's that. So I'm gonna hang on to it, give it a shot. And then if I don't like it, I can get rid of it. Oh, I found one more Plus Life Lacquer. This is having a blast. This is based off of Baja Blast and I love Baja Blast. So we're keeping that. Actually, I bought a um, 
from Bluebird Lacquer, their like cuticle balm. This smells like Baja Blast and oh my God, it smells so good. I haven't used, you can see I barely used any of it because I'm like trying to preserve it, but I feel like it'll go off if I don't use it it's up. So let me put some on my cuticles cause they are dry. Okay, now I'm gonna do the rest of the video with greasy Baja Blast fingers, just like a true gamer. Um, let's see, this is Pacifica Plant Magic. This one's called Buena Fortuna. This looks really cool when it's topped over a darker color. Um, am I ever going to do that? Probably not. Probably not. Let's be real. So let's put this in the purgatory bin. What else do we have? Let's do, we got some, oh, this is another polish. So this is Betwixt. I bought this at the same time as uh, Goblin Mode. I, you know, I know they're different, but are they different enough? I don't care. I'm keeping them both. But still, like, what was I thinking? I blame Stacy for that one. She was here when I when I bought those. Um, let's do the polished for days. Jack-o'-lantern. This is one I got from one of my first polished pickups. This is a stunning flaky polish for days. Does flakies like you would not believe. Memo to me as well. This one, I wore it and every single little uh, Instagram story that people could see this in, I was getting DMs asking me like, what is that? Where, where did you get that? Who is that? This polish is so pretty. So definitely keeping both of those. Uh, you might see a trend here that I really like flakies. So this was their Maui charity polish. Ikaika, when Stacy came to visit me last was it September, I think? She was wearing this and I was like, oh, I asked her like four separate times. I was like, what is that? I kind of want it. And then I finally bought it while she was here. So keeping that. And then I haven't gotten to wear either of these yet, but I know they're going to be amazing. This is Shadow on the Moon. This one I really want to wear around like Halloween. And then this one is um, incandescent. And this is like a much darker foresty green flaky, which will be perfect for like Christmas time. So keeping both of those. This one's called Q the Confetti and it says it's the 2023 New Year's duo. And I don't recall where I got this. I feel like somebody probably sent this one to me. Oh, that's fun. That's like a black kind of like smoky black with really rainbowy flakies in there. Definitely have to keep, I, I feel like I can't get rid of any of the polish for days right now. And then a personal favorite, this one's called As You Pass Go. This one was from their like polish pickup that was like based off of games. And it's got these like purpley to reddy orange flakies in that light minty green. And I usually hate mint, but for Monopoly, I can make an exception. I love Monopoly. I think Monopoly is such a fun game. My family was like, well, me, my dad, and my sister specifically all liked playing Monopoly. And my sister's fiance and my fiance both have an inability to sit and do one thing for a long period of time. So we tried playing Monopoly with them once and it was like every turn, me and my sister were like, okay, it's your turn. Okay, go. And they're like, you guys are like so uptight. And we're like, no, we just want to play Monopoly. So yeah, keeping that. Um, what else do we have in here? Let's do some of these. I This is picture polish. I feel like picture polish has like either you love them for their bottles or you hate them for their bottles, kind of like ice cream nails. I just, I really love the picture polish bottles. I think they're cute. As you can see, um, they all have like either different fonts or like they all say something different. I have like, this one's got like a little design on it. Um, but yeah, so I really, really like the picture polish bottles and some people don't like the inconsistency. For me, it's okay because it gives each polish personality. So this one's called Pooh. It is like Winnie the Pooh yellow. One of my favorites. It says one for all the honey bears. So keeping. This says diamonds with breakfast and it says Tiffany. And uh, if you know anything about me, I love this Tiffany Robin's egg blue. Um, I had never like, when I was younger, I was not like into like design or anything. When I started dating Rob, he took me into a Tiffany for the first time. And I felt so out of place and um, we were like looking at some necklaces and stuff. And I like, he, he brought me over to this one case, which is like, you know, like the return to Tiffany case, which is kind of like the 
the ch the cheap <laughs> Tiffany jewelry. It's still pretty expensive. And this was back when we were in college. And I was like looking at this necklace and it was like the heart returned to Tiffany. It's got the key on it and everything. And um, he was like, oh, do you like that? And I was like, yeah, it's really pretty. Maybe someday. And he just turns to the sales associate and goes, all right, we'll take that. And I like cried because I was just like, I've never had anybody do something like that. So that was really cute. Um, anyways, yeah, I love Tiffany Blue. So keeping that. This one is called Sage and it says calm and sweet, so mysterious. I haven't worn this one in a while, but I like this finish from them. It's the same one as like the Pooh Bear. It's kind of like a crushed hollow type finish. So I, I probably will keep all of the picture polishes if I'm going to be honest with you. This one, it separates so weird. This one's called Unicorn. It says much more than just a legend. It has that weird like orange separation in it, but it's like a teal blue and it's got, I don't know if you guys can see like the little pinky glitters in there and then the silver hollow. So we'll keep that. This is one of my first gross greens. This is called Mossy. You know, I have to keep this. Okay, so these I bought, I bought literally because it's Bridget Bardot. Uh, I bought them, you know, like, I don't, I don't know if they went together. Like, I don't know if they were like released together, but I bought them for Bridget Bardot because my mom's name is Bridget. And like a lot of her friends call her Bridget Bardot, you know, because her name's Bridget. Um, and her favorite nail polish color is red. So I don't know. I just got these because I thought that was kind of funny. So I'll keep those. If I do ever get rid of these, I'll probably just give them to my mom so she can have the bottles. So then we have Forget Me Not, which is one of the most beautiful blues. I, even though it's called Forget Me Not, I kind of forgot about it. So uh, this is another one that's in that like crushed hollow that I really like. And then same with Royal. This is my favorite kind of purple and it's in that crushed hollow. So we'll hang on to that. This one was, I think, sent to me by somebody. This one I don't remember purchasing. It's called Masquerade. All the other ones I know I bought. Okay, so this is more like a really fine glitter topper. And I just feel like this is not something that I'm going to reach for as much. Unfortunately, it is cute, but and it's, it's giving like Mardi Gras. So I think that I'm going to pass this on to somebody who will love it a little bit more than me. We've got, okay, these are, you'd be shocked if I said that these are three of my favorites from this brand, but they are. Henna was the first weird jelly I ever bought. It's a brown jelly. It's so cool. And that's what got me onto the weird jelly train. Amber is, again, one of those crushed hollows and it's brown. And I just feel like there's not enough interesting browns out there. And then this one is... I think it's, I think it's pronounced Lacodom, but I'm not sure. I am not going to lie to you when I say I bought this because this here looks like a face and I thought that was really cute. And so I am going to keep that too. And I really like this. I feel like it looks almost gray, like a very light gray. Uh, and that's how I justify it. So keeping all three of those. So, so far we've only gotten rid of six. Mm, we're not doing so hot, but I, I told you guys I wasn't going to do so well on this drawer. Uh, this is a one-off. This is Space Beauty Nail Planet. This is just one I bought in Japan. Oh, it's like Nearer to God or something like that. Uh, it's hard to translate, but it's just like a funky glitter. But because I didn't buy that many nail polishes in Japan, I will not get rid of that. I have to keep that. Nail polish in Japan was quite expensive. And the bottles, a lot of the bottles were smaller than the U.S. Um, let's do some painted polishes. So I have one painted polish on my nail polish rack right now. This one's called Animal Style and I'm not getting rid of this. This is one of my cool yellows. It's got like red metallics in there, but it was just on my rack. Oh, I have a couple probably that should have gone in this drawer, but that are on the rack. Hang on. Obviously I'm keeping them because they're on my rack. This is Polish Best Fiends and it is a super shimmery pink. So we'll keep that. And then I also have a couple Orly toppers on my rack that I don't want to get rid of. So just so you guys can see, because I know this is partially a declutter, but it's partially, here's my entire collection. Please look at it. I don't know. Um, okay, so as far as my other painted polishes go, looks like I have four. So we have Mustard Love Flannel. I love a mustard yellow, so we cannot get rid of that. This one is Gilded Gherkin. This is the pickle polish. Um, it's just like this nasty green with gold flakes in it. They do a lot of these like gilded ones. I really like this. Keeping. 
This is Just Keep Blooming. Now, I bought this from Polish Pickup. I thought it was really pretty. Have I worn it? I feel like I've worn it once. I really like those delicate rose flakes in there, contrasting with that base. This is a really pretty spring polish. Actually, I'm just going to reach on over and put this on my nail polish rack right now. And then the last one that I have from them, this one's called Prugly Prism, and it is such a gross polish in my favorite kind of way. Like, that base color is nasty. Like, I would never wear a polish like that on its own. But then it's got all these, like, clown-colored glitters running through it, so that's a must-keep. We've got some painted phalanges. These, I think, are all from It Is Amanda. Uh, because I had heard of this brand, but I'd never, ever bought anything from them before. And these are all kind of right up my alley. She did a really good job. She, like, curated this huge box for me from, like, stuff she was de-stashing. So this one's called Hideously Lucky, and it's got, like, blue shimmer running through it. I want to hang on to that. This one, obviously, it's, like, got these huge chunky flakes in it. It doesn't have a name on the bottle. Um, I don't care. I'm keeping it. This one is called Watching Rubbish, and it's, like, a brown with, like, very metallic colored flakes in there. Or very colorful metallic flakes in there. This one's Your Ken Can Kiss My Butt. Like, the separation looks really nasty. The separation looks really nasty, but, like, this is just another really funky glitter. This one is... Oh, come on, that's funny. And it's like kind of yellow, but it looks really sparkly. And I I don't know, I just really want to keep all these. This is pumpkin pasties. I always get bullied because I accidentally say pasties. But listen, I'm from the south of Michigan where they're not as common as they are up north. So I'm sorry that I said pasties that one time at my job and everyone bullied me. Um, <laughs> pasties, it's pumpkin pasties. I'm going to keep all of these. We've got some palette polish and these are, let's see, this one is called turmeric. That one is my vibe. This one I think is again from Amanda. Oh, we've got, no, that's further over here. Um, and then this one is called oyster. It looks like a gray, but it also looks like very pearlescent. So let me just do a quick, real quick swatch of this to see. Oh no, that's really pretty. I was like, is it going to be way too creepy looking? Let me see. Yeah, that pearlescent gives it like a nice little shimmer, but because it's like a lighter color, you can't really see the streaks. So that is fine. I love gray polish. I really love wearing gray. It makes me feel really classy. Like I know some people like to wear like black nails and they feel really upscale. I feel really upscale and classy when I'm wearing gray. This is Pepper Pot. It's called You Go Ghoul from September 2020 polish pickup. It's like a purple flaky, which you know is my vibe keeping. This is from Pampered Polish. This one's called Caroling Ghosts. I am not into this like lighter baby blue, which I guess we can just do this one too. This one's called Pep Nails. I don't think they make polish anymore. And this one's called Oahu. I love blue polish, but I don't often reach for this type of blue. So we can get rid of both of those. My hair is like all over the bottom of this. Okay, we've got some Phoenix Indie Polish. So this one is called Forgotten Land. This was from the Polish Gamers box. This is like a Kirby polish. And this one is Magnetic. Um, I don't know, I bought it because it was Kirby because Rob really likes Kirby. Not that like he likes nail polish. I don't know why I was like, yeah, Rob loves Kirby. I need a Kirby polish, but I, I have it and I don't want to get rid of it. This one is Boy Toy from Polish Pickup, December 2022. I wish they, they had done like another one in this finish that was like the sister polish. Wish I'd picked that up because I love this polish. I love these like really pale glitters in there. This one is Brand X. This is from Little Box of Horrors. This was from their X-Files. You put X-Files or Star Trek on anything and I'm there for it. The, both of those are like things that I enjoyed with my dad. And so they have a really special place in my heart. I have an X-Files tattoo um, because I love the X-Files, but because of what like that time meant to me watching that show just, you know, almost daily with my dad, we'd I'd come home from school and it would be on the like sci-fi channel. And like my dad was really cool. He shares like whenever we, when we were kids, you know, he would share his interests and hobbies with us, but he would also take a really big interest in our 
hobbies. And so there was like a really good back and forth. And I just really appreciate having a parent who, who like cared on that level. Cause I know so many kids who are, I guess they're not kids anymore. They're all 30 who are like, yeah, my dad didn't really get involved in like my stuff. And it's like, it didn't matter what it was or if he was interested in it or not. Like my dad played Pokemon with me. My dad went and watched all my sister's uh, sports matches and he went to all my brother's concerts. And you know, it's like, it's just cool to have a parent that gives a shit about you, <laughs> you know? And then this one's Courage. This is Courage the Cowardly Dog, Polish Pickup. And look at that. I mean, we're not getting rid of that. So we're keeping all the Phoenix polishes. I don't have many from Phoenix, but what I do have, I absolutely love. Okay, I have two from Polish Molish. This is a Russian brand. I don't really think you can get this anymore in the States, at least. They were in Polish Pickup, but then due to everything going on uh, over on that side of the world, like, I, they can't, like, ship things out super easily. So um, I don't know if they've been shipping elsewhere or what's going on with them. I haven't really kept up, but... I do have two from them. This one is called Evergreen. I got this in a polish pickup. It is like a jellied base, green, like dark green jelly base with green glitters. And I do like this, so I'm going to keep it. And this one is called Diaspore Stones. And it looks like if you ate a bunch of peas and carrots and then threw up. And I posted a picture of this once on Instagram and everyone's like, Hillary, that's disgusting. And I was like, yeah, that's why I like it. So <laughs> we can't get rid of that. Um, okay, I can't avoid this one any longer. Let's do the Poetry Cowgirl. So this is a brand that I no longer support. I don't I don't buy from them anymore. Um, that's my personal preference. You can have your personal preference. But for me, it's just the maker is not my vibe. And so I don't want to give her my money. <laughs> um, but I did pay for these polishes. I paid for, well, some of them were gifted. But I, I paid for most of these. And she already has my money. So I'm not going to just throw away polishes that I've used, but I'm not going to promote them either. That's my thing. Like being on social media, when you no longer want to work with or associate with a brand, it's kind of hard because it's like, do you just sweep it under the rug and not talk about it? Or do you make like a statement or what do you do? And I just feel like if it comes up, I'm going to talk about it because I think that it's important to explain to people why and, and like what's going on. Uh, basically this, this maker took a photo with Kyle Rittenhouse and if you are, like, even aware of any of the current events in the U.S., like, you know who that is. You know what he's done and what he stands for. And I'm just like, that's not the vibe for me. And so I choose not to buy from this brand anymore. However, like I said, she already has my money. So I'm going to keep the ones that I want to keep and get rid of the ones I don't want to. And I'm just not going to promote them positively on my channel, but I do like, like, I like the polishes. It's the polishes didn't take a photo with Kyle Rittenhouse. Um, but I'm not going to buy from them anymore. So this is Shy town I remember swatching this. I'll swatch it for you guys. It's pretty ugly. It's this one came like for free in, what do you call it? The bag at Polish and Beauty Expo. I think you need to layer it over something, but like you guys know me, I'm not going to do that. So we're going to get rid of that one. I bought this one. This one's called Pride Party. And it is just a really fun glitter. Um, so I'm going to keep that, like metallic glitter. Plaid Season. I think this was the first one I actually bought from them. And it is orange with purple shimmer and purple metallic flakes. We're going to keep that. And then I think a couple of these were gifted to me. And then the rest of them were from Polish and Beauty Expo. So this is West Loop, Polish and Beauty Expo Limited Edition. This is purple with like some teal flakies, keeping it. This one's called 1910. Let me swatch this. Oh, that needs a good shake. I think it's kind of weird. Let's see. That's a really fun teal, but I just, as much as I like teal, I don't find myself wearing it that often. So this one I can de-stash. This one's called Wicker Park. I bought this one like specifically at Polish and Beauty Expo. So I'm going to keep that. Like I sought that one out. This one's called Deuce Coop. And it's just a really, like they did like a car collection um and it's just a really punchy yellow so i'm gonna keep that and this is mystery bag number five and you know i try to not talk too politically on my channel just because i know like some people use this kind of stuff as an escape but like i do have 
I do have political opinions and they are very strong. So if that does bother you, um, I don't know. I don't, unsubscribe, I guess. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep that one too. So yeah, that's the Poetry Cowgirl. And then hopefully you'll never see them on my channel again. All right, what's next? This is Psych Minerals. And it's like, this is a brand that like, I never really think about except for a Polish and Beauty Expo. And then I see them there and I'm like, oh, I should look more at them. And then I never do. But I don't I, like I'm looking at these and I'm like, eh, I want to keep this one. This is Buckingham Splash. I bought this one. I believe they they had their kid there and it was really cute. She was helping them out. And then these are like mysteries. I don't know what this one is. That one's kind of cool, though. Let me swatch that one. Uh, I'll swatch all three of these because I don't know. I don't really tend to love like buying protos or mysteries. Oh, I like that though. Okay, that one, even though it has no label, can stay. But I don't like buying protos or mysteries that often. I know some people like that because it's like super exclusive or whatever, but I don't know why. I don't love having like insanely exclusive stuff anymore. When I was younger, I did, but now I just want everybody to be able to like have everything you know life's too life's too hard right now these are both really pretty pinks they're really like light and sweet but i just don't think i need either of them i've got so much pink polish so i will put these in my d stash bin oh we have another polish for days oh this one's towards the light this is cool let's just swatch it anyway it's like a really deep like grape jelly base and then it's got some really fun flakies in there so Gotta keep that. Down to the last few. This is Pretty Woman. Uh, I don't know what it's called. I can already tell you right now, I don't want this. I've never worn it. It came in like an Ipsy bag or something. So we're gonna get rid of that. This is Potion Polish. This is one that people were telling me I need to try out this brand because it is Amanda sent me this one. So I definitely need to... Oh, wow, that's a fun red. Um, I'll keep that one because that needs to be tried out. I need to try that brand. Um, this is Pretty Beautiful Unlimited. This is from the Polished Nook box, which I didn't enjoy. It's called Sugar Plum. I'm just swatching like right over here. Oh, that's like, that's like grossly thin. Okay, I don't want that one either. Oh no, I just touched it. Blech. I'm like constantly covered in nail polish. It's in, in my hair all the time. So we destashed that one. Um, this is PS Cosmeceutical, which kind of looks like I also got this. It's inf it's infused nail lacquer. What does that mean? What is it infused with? Um, I don't want... It's infused with grapefruit seed extract. I don't think I need that. I really don't think I need that. So that one can go too. These were sent to me, right? No, I don't think so. These are pure ice polishes. This one is called Heartbreaker and this one's called Oh Baby. These are ones that you would like layer over a darker color. And while I think that's really fun in theory, I feel like... Is this the brand that had like kind of like a cult following or no, I'm thinking of like hard candy, aren't I? I don't know. I feel like somebody else would enjoy these a lot more than me and would layer them over something. So I'm going to put these in the stash. And then last in this drawer, this is another pretty woman polish, which is like, I'm not familiar with this brand. I know this one was gifted to me. Um, it's always hard to like stash like gifted polishes. But I just don't think I'm going to wear that color. I'm not a big, like, orchid wearer. So I will pass this along to someone else who's going to enjoy it far more. So first box is empty. I guess, do we even have time to do this? Yeah, the second box is all oily. So that one's going to be a lot easier. So yeah, I will be back. I got to go deal with something. And then I will be back to do the second box. Okay, so here's the second drawer for today. And as you can see, it's entirely Orly. And Orly is one of my favorite mainstream brands. So I can't see myself getting rid of many or even any of them i'm not sure but this is like half declutter half like showing you everything that's in my collection so i guess we'll just kind of go through it and i maybe i see one that i'll get rid of <laughs> maybe um okay so this is orly breathable serves you right it is a really fun blue but now i'm like oh is it streaky i don't know let's see i was trying to decide what topper or i was going to use this topper this is like the caitlin swatches it's what's it called powered by little treats and i was trying to decide what to put it over because that's going to be 
what I paint my nails with after I'm done here. Let's see. Definitely on the sheer side, but it's such a pretty blue. Okay, we're keeping it. That's going to be like the mood for this the entire second half of this video is. I don't know, but I'm keeping it. Oh, actually, I might get rid of this one. This one's Balamos or something like that. This is like the old Orly bottle design versus, well, that's got something special on it. Versus like the new or the cap was gray and now it's not. And they're like old logo versus their new logo. This is like half full. I think I got it in a D stash. Ew, look at that cap. I think this one I could probably part with. It's like a little bit thick, which I could revive it. But even still, it's like, oh, but the color is really pretty. Mm, okay, I've talked myself into keeping it. <laughs> That's great. We're we're doing we're doing great. This one is rinse and repeat. That is just like a really pretty standard blue. I know I like this kind of blue. I really like Orly for their creams. Like they have really good staple cream colors. This is one of the Kelly Marissa collabs. This one's called Kelly Solstice. I won't get rid of any of the Kelly Marissa ones or any really of the special editions. So this is Lisa Frank. This one's called Sky's the Limit. It's just a blue cream, but I want to keep all of the Lisa Frank ones. This one's called High on Hope. It's like a deeper, maybe denim -y type of blue, but it has this really strong shimmer in it. This is, you can tell this one's kind of older because like the brush is thinner. Um, it looks like it's on the thinner side, but I feel like I could build that up in two coats, right? Ooh, this one's so cute. This one's called Give It a Swirl. They did like a candy themed six piece uh breathable collection i just thought it was like a super cute cream collection keeping that this one oh wait written in the stars this was from their spring collection last year wasn't it um oh i actually remembered liking this one a lot like for an icy blue surprisingly i enjoy that i hate icy colors typically but that one's interesting okay these two let me shake them up they look a little similar. So this is Happy Camper and this is Fresh Start. So let me swatch them side by side because I think I probably don't need them both. This is the breathable shade. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's kind of like a lighter version of that Tiffany type of color family that I really like. Um. Oh, see, no, they're different. <laughs> I'm in a mood where I don't want to get rid of any of them. I think that's really where I'm at. Um, they're different enough. I'm keeping them both. I can tell you though, that if I come across any of the ones that were in that winter collection, I hated those can go. Oh, this is retrograde. That one's cool. Like we can't get rid of that. This one is urban landscape. Well, speak of the devil. This is one of those that was from the, the one Orly collection that I detested. And it's like, this one looks kind of cool, but the rest of them definitely don't. Like, look at that on the swatch stick. I, actually, I like that one. Okay, hang on. What is wrong with me? I like this one. I want to keep that one. Uh, keeping this, this is called Light It Up. This was their Hanukkah topper. To, they released like a Christmas and a Hanukkah one. And I was like, that's fun. So you don't see as many uh, Hanukkah themed polishes. Actually, I think... You see more now than you used to, but yeah, I'll keep that. This is Kelly's Galaxy. This is from her first collab with Orly, keeping. This one's called the Who's Who. Let me shake it up. Let's see. I was going to say, does it look similar to It's Britney Beach, but it does not. Let me. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, did you hear my knuckles crack? That was horrible. Okay, this one will not open. We're going to set that to the side. I will go figure that one out later. This is its Brittany Beach. This is like a staple from Orly. We can't get rid of that. Oh my gosh, this one, you're on Sapphire. I wanted this so bad and it was always out of stock. And then right when I was like about to get it, Kelly Marissa like mentioned it in a video and I was like, oh shit, now I'm never going to get it because she mentioned it and it's going to sell out. Just, I love a sapphire blue. So that one can stay. This is look at the time and it is a gross green. So, you know, 
This one's called Endless Night. This one looks ugly. Let's see. If I say something's ugly and you like it, I'm sorry. Like, I just... I don't know. I don't want this. This is not a color I would ever wear. Like, I would never think that's the one. So, yeah, that one can go. So, this one... What did I say? It's called Endless Night. Yeah. Goodbye. There's one. We got one. This one's Bury That, which is kind of similar but they're like slightly different finishes okay so we can keep that one too let's see this one is ascension i'm sure this one can go this is one of those from that collection i did not like yeah look at how like thin that is hmm goodbye we'll get rid of that one see i got rid of two two or actually three orleys so far because i got one from the other drawer this one is Unraveling Story. It's just like a fun, beautiful gray. I will keep that. This one is Serendipity. I just like the way that color flips in there, so I will keep that. This one's doing something really weird in the bottle. Do you see this? It's You had me at Hydrangea, but it's like the side of the bottle is really strange. Let's. It looks fine. It's just that weird sticking to the side of the bottle. Oh, that color is so pretty. You know what? I'm going to put that on my rack too. I want to wear that. Oh my gosh. See, this is why you should always go through your your stuff. Oh, I don't think I like this one. This one's called Stone Cold. This is like an older, if you couldn't tell. No, maybe now that I've shaken it up, I like it. It, eh, it's like a nice, pretty blue, but it's like not my kind of formula, I don't think. And it's pretty old, so I think I can let that one go. This one is Lost Treasure. Do you guys say treasure or treasure? My granddad says treasure. Ooh, that one's kind of interesting. Is this, oh, that one's so streaky though. That's got, is that one from the, what collection is this one from? I don't know, but I'm gonna get rid of it. This one is Freudian Flip. Okay, hold on. I mean, they're, uh, we got polish. We got a polish disaster. Um. Let me paint all three of these next to each other because it feels like they're very similar. <laughs> we'll just uh, paint it right in the center. Okay, that one's really cool. Okay, that one's like a little bit more sheer. And then this one, okay, see they're all like, in the bottle they look really similar. On the swatch, they look so different. That's This is why swatch sticks are important. So we're gonna keep all three. Okay, this is, this was a collab. This is, this guy's a chef, right? Wait, what's this one called? Eggplant. I remember I got like a gift card from Orly and I think this is how I got it. Oh, this is one of those where I feel, oh, no, that black base, you can kind of even it out. Okay, keeping. This is another Kelly Marissa. This is Kelly's Antimatter. This one is really cool because it's like, a combination of these super itty bitty glitters and some are blue and some are I think red and then it makes it look kind of purple this color is called blue iris and I love this color it's so pretty like it's just such a cute blue I don't know keeping glow in the dark top coat of course this one glows like a blue which is fun keeping that I think the best glow in the dark top coat that I've used so far as far as like brightness is the hollow taco one. However, because it's a little bit stronger, like it's got a little bit more opacity to it. It does make your nails, like the color underneath a little bit cloudy. If you use darker colors, I don't think this one does as much. So it's nice to have options. This one's called feeling foxy and it's like a really dusty eggplant, dark purple. I just like this whole collection. I want to keep it. I feel like I can't justify half of this, but I'm trying my best. This one's called Off the Grid. Is this one, this one was recent, right? I can't even, my brain doesn't remember anything anymore. Um, I'll just keep it because I like it. <laughs> no other reason. Ooh, this one's really pretty. This is Opulent Obsession. This was from one of the first, I think the first color pass I got. And that's kind of what got me really hooked on Orly was that color pass. Okay, this is a really stunning wine colored polish. And I'm like, I really like it, but I haven't really worn it. So this is one that I don't want to get rid of because I really like it looking at it. 
but I need to remember to wear this more around Christmas time. Okay, we got some we got some purples coming up that I'm gonna hit you with. So this is Synthetic Symphony. This is a staple, can't get rid of that. This is the Orly Lisa Frank Make a Splash. We gotta keep that. This is one of their jelly glitters. This one's called, I uh, like totally. These jelly glitters are really fun. I like the Orly jellies. They don't seem to keep them around for very long, but I really like this. This is Mystic Jelly. This is uh, Kelly Marissa polish, so I have to keep that. Here's another Kelly Marissa. This one's called Kelly's Moon Dust. I don't think I would keep this if it wasn't a Kelly Marissa polish because that's just not really my tone of purple, but I want to keep all the Kelly Marissa polishes that I have. And I'm crossing my fingers that they release those Halloween ones that they did in full sizes because I really like those. This one's called Opposites Attract. I think I remember really liking this, but I also don't remember anything. So let's get rid of this swatch wheel. It's full. I'm running low on swatch wheels. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. I like that shimmer. I just shoved a huge chunk of dry polish back in there. What was I thinking? Um, This one's cute. This is called Don't Sweet It. This is from that candy, uh, candy flavored, candy themed Orly collection. Keeping. This is Crash the Party. This one looks like, does it look like something I have? I had thought, I think when I got this, I thought it was gonna be similar to Synthetic Symphony, but it's really not. Um, so let's swatch this, because this one I actually don't think I love this purple. Is it, oh, wait, that looks way brighter on the nail. Okay, I like that one. It's kind of Barney-ish. I love Barney. This is Kelly Solar Flare. Gotta keep that. This one is Pick Me Up. This is an Orly Breathable shade. This is not my kind of purple. Not at all. Okay, that one can go. This is Flight of Fancy. This is another one that I don't think that I'm obsessed with. Yeah, that's just, it's like pretty, like the finish but that is not my color. So that one can go as well. This one is Industrial Playground. This is one of those that came in that collection that I was not obsessed with. So that one, yeah, it's just so sheer. I mean, I'm sure over a polish, it would be cool, but it's so streaky that I just don't, I don't want it. This one is Provence at Dusk. This was one of their art ones they did. It is like a nice staple cream, but I don't wear that color. But then at the same time, I'm like, I should probably keep it for comparison reasons. Hmm. I'm gonna put it in the purgatory bin. This one's called Forward Momentum. Wasn't this one also in that, that one I didn't like? Yeah, I wouldn't wear that. Goodbye. This one's called String of Hearts. This collection was really cute. Um, it just got a lot of these like really punchy tones in it. And even though this isn't like one that I often reach for, I like that. So we're going to keep it. This one is called Awestruck. It's like another one of those more streaky kind of metallic-y types. I'm sure built up, it's beautiful, but like, it's just not, it's not my tone. This is Beautiful Disaster. I like the name of it, but I don't think I'm gonna like this polish. You can tell it's old from that skinny brush. It's got a very thin consistency. Orly has come so far, so let's pass on that. We've got a blue over here. This one's called Snow Angel. This one was in their uh, December, or December, like winter color pass, I think. I like this. It's a kind of a fun, nice light blue to have. Um, I probably won't wear it very often, but I do enjoy it. This is called Spark. This is a really fun copper colored flaky topper. Gonna keep that. This is from their NASA collab. This one is called Golden Record. And I just really like these special edition type polishes. So I wanna keep them. This is Shaky Alibi. <laughs> Wasn't this one like exactly my skin tone? Like, didn't I post a swatch where I was like, this just looks like me in a bottle? That's so creepy. Yeah, like, that's so scary. I want to keep it just because it's so gross. I don't know if I'll wear it, but I might find a use for it. This is Don't Be Suspicious, and it's a really pretty brown. I like brown. I'm going to keep it. Oh, this one I might not keep. This is Infinite Allure. This one came in my first color pass, I believe. I think that's that collection. 
And it's like a brown metallic, but it's like just not one that I would wear. So I can get rid of that one. Oh, this one's fun. This one's called Wild Card. This is a Kelly Marissa. Oh, did I say Halloween? Maybe. Was it a Halloween advent or was it a Christmas advent that they did? I don't remember, but you know what I'm talking about. You know which advent I mean. This one is called Just an Illusion. This is like super punchy reflective glitter. I'm gonna keep it. I could probably find a use for it. It looks like sand. This is our uh, Spirit of Space, or Spirit of Peace, Spirit of Space. Um, this is another one of their NASA ones. I'm gonna keep it. Smoke Jelly. Uh, I feel like this one wasn't what everybody was hoping for. Like it's supposed to be like a black jelly, but I'm gonna keep it because it's like, one of the Kelly Marissa ones. And I do love a weird jelly. So we'll hang on to that. This one is Fluidity. I already know I don't need this. Goodbye. Hero Worship. This was the, uh, I almost said Adam Sandler. Um, Adam, Adam something. Adam Levine? No. Adam Lambert. Oh my God, dude. Can you tell I don't know anything? Uh, I like that though. Clearly I don't, I don't know anything about Adam Lambert. Uh, ooh, this one's really pretty. This one's called Back for S'more. And it's like, in the bottle, it's like kind of like greenish looking, but it's almost black on the nail. I'm gonna keep it. This one is Regal Pine. And I like this one paired with, this is called Velvet Ribbon for like a Christmas look. So hang on to those. This is Untouchable Decadence, and I don't, I don't think I need that. Look at how goopy it is. I clearly am just not a big glitter wearer in that way. So that can go. Another one of these, it's View from L2. It's like a pretty galaxy kind of black with hollow glitter keeping. We have a Kelly Marissa. This one's a cute little star topper, and it's called Kelly's Constellation. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't, I can't let this one go. This is Mirror Ball. This is one that I took with me when I lived in Japan because I could only bring so many and I wore the crap out of this and I don't have much left, but it's like a very fun hollow glitter and I'm not gonna get rid of that. This is called Wing It. This was the bat wing glitter that didn't really work very well. And this is one of the Kelly Marissa ones keeping it. This is Cozy Night. Oh, I... I love the color teal. Man, I gotta clean this drawer out. But it's like, I don't wear it often. Oh, this is cute though. It's like a lot lighter than it was in the bottle. Okay, we'll hang on to it. It like stains my nails so bad and I'm just like, get annoyed. Uh, this is Sugar Plum Soiree. I didn't like this polish. I remember not liking this polish, so that can go. You can kind of see like, I just don't like this type of color and I don't like this finish in that color. This is Mansion Lane. I bought this one um, because I just really like the color. I felt like it was kind of like similar to Chin Chili, so I'm keeping that. I have a couple grays here and they're different. So this is Dreamers Awake and this one came from the collection last fall that I really liked. Was it last fall? It was it two falls ago? I know I can't even remember. But yeah, I, it's a nice staple gray keeping. And then this one's called Elo Goodbye, and it's got like just a nice green shimmer running through it, so I like that. This is Turn It Down. This is the one that I was telling you goes with Turn It Up, and it's just like the very like monochromatic one keeping. And then we finally have In the Moonlight. Let's see, I don't think that I would wear this. Yeah, this is, it's pretty, but it's just like not my style. So I'm going to pass on this one. So definitely not as many as last time, but still a decent size chunk. And it's, I feel like this color palette looks kind of bland. You can kind of see the types of colors that I just don't want in my collection or just I'm not drawn to. It's just like these types of purples. It's like, there's so darn many of them. I just don't like that kind of purple. I don't like these kinds of finishes. So you're kind of starting to see a pattern. So yeah, I should have the count on the screen of how many there were. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time for a couple more drawers. Bye.